All right, so here's our next capture. Um, green channel's still the same. Green is still our intake uh, pressure pulse sensor. Blue is still our relative compression, and red is now cylinder two in cylinder. So, what do we see? Um, realistically, not a whole lot, bar the fact that we do have low compression on cylinder two. Um, that's to be said, this only peaked out at about 90-ish PSI, 100 PSI. Um, our towers, so I've got a capture of our in-cylinder by itself. Um, we can see we've got an intake pull issue after that cylinder two event. Um, if we bump these out of the way and sort of just focus on our in-cylinder pressure, and I'll pull up a better shot of this next. There we go. It's not too bad. Um, the thing that I don't like about this capture is there's not much of an intake pull. We should still see, even cranking, a slight intake pull. Not running, obviously, but cranking. We should still see a slight intake pull, but this pressure here is, you know, pretty much across the board from our exhaust pressure or our exhaust stroke to our intake stroke. So I'm not a fan of that. Um, the other thing that we will check, and I'll check it on the relative compression one, is just our actual pressure strokes, whether they're even or not. So that's the next thing I'm gonna pull up, which is our last capture, which is basically just this in-cylinder pressure test by itself without anything else. So we'll pull that up now. All right, so we're back with our in-cylinder pressure test. Now, what do we see here? Um, not anything too catastrophic, put it that way. Um, our actual cylinder pressure is too low. We're down at like 80 PSI, 70 psi there we go 69 psi running so when we're running we have got a loss of compression um, our compression towers themselves are quite even so we're not too fussed about that we're not fussed about a major timing issue or anything um, it's not running bad enough to sort of indicate that anyway our exhaust pressure not too bad we're at about one psi max um, now our intake stroke the only deviance that i can pick on this intake stroke is here. So generally what we want to look for is we want this expansion pocket to be the same amount of intake pull as our intake. Um, there is a difference, it's not much, as you can see there, the, the only difference is sort of 2 to 3 psi, um, but that deviance right there is a loss of intake pull. Um, now, what my assumption is, I think that we're actually looking at a piston issue I think we're looking at failing piston rings causing a loss of compression in that cylinder um, and how I'm going to pick that is I'm going to put a pressure pulse sensor into the dipstick and we're going to see if we have higher crankcase pressure on cylinder 2. All right so here's our final capture for this Commodore um, and this is a conclusive enough for us to call that the lack of compression is due to piston sealing issues. Um, as you can see now I've taken away all the secondary ignition um, sink and everything that I had on this because it's too noisy to be able to show simply. Um, what we've got, and I'll just grab a pen to point, is this event here. So the, these main events are our cylinder two um, firing events. So they line up with a cylinder two sink. Everything else in between is the rest of our cylinders. Now, all these are so skewed being that when you have a high pressure event this is a pressure pulse sensor not a transducer when we have a high pressure event that pulse sensor ends up all right so <clears throat> gopro camera died um what we've got here like i said before i've taken all the sink and trigger and everything away these two high peaks here the pressure peaks are in line with our cylinder two firing event so or sorry our cylinder two pressure event so that to us is indicative enough that our cylinder two low compression basically is caused by either piston rings or a you know piston sealing issue we're, we're ending up with high crank crease pressure on the cylinder two firing event so from there that's pretty much you know enough testing to deem that the vehicle needs mechanical work done needs engine mechanical work done whatever that means um, it does still run and drive all right it's just got that fish bite misfire under certain conditions um, and, and yeah that's where we're at so hopefully that's um, interesting for everyone this will most likely be split into two separate um, videos because there's a fair bit of content here for all the different captures and things like that so happy days okay so i'm back on the commodore i've got one point to make um, i've been scrolling through these waveforms just putting the report together for the customer um, 
I've wanted to take one more look at our in-cylinder pressure, right? So what we've got here, and this, I find this quite interesting. I also think we've got a very slightly leaking exhaust valve, oh, sorry, intake valve for cylinder two. I need to zoom back out of that. Now, what we can see here across the board, right? This red channel is our in-cylinder pressure transducer for cylinder two. As you can see, the pressure's at its peak mid compression stroke so we've got the piston coming up on compression stroke our intake pressure also jumps up and it's not by a minimal amount it's jumping from 48 to sort of 55 psi so you know there's a what eight nine oh sorry seven eight psi difference in intake pressure um, and that's only on cylinder two compression stroke so that sort of leads me to believe that we also have a very slightly leaking intake valve um, and that also lines up with the fact that we have less of an intake pull after this so we've got a higher pressure into uh, sorry a higher pressure peak going into the intake mid cylinder two compression and a lower intake pull post cylinder two compression so that's interesting um that you know also indicates us we do have that piston we definitely have a piston ring issue full stop we have a low compression issue um that's certain but we also have an intake valve sealing issue on cylinder two doesn't look like much but you know when you're looking at sort of five six eight psi or whatever it, it's substantial um and it, it's noticeable when you compare your intake and in cylinder waveform so one more note i want to